How are you everybody? Welcome to the channel. Hey, it's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So guys, uh, welcome here. I'm just getting ready to do a little five card reading to see what's coming up for your weekend. Um, so I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates and thanks so much for being here with me, you guys. Uh, please remember to comment on the video and like, share and subscribe. It really helps me on the channel. So I'm gonna be using Gilded Tarot to do this reading. I actually haven't done a reading with this deck for a long time. It was one of my first decks and it's always one of my favorites. So um, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna jump right in, guys. That's my style. So let me know what you think of the reading and yeah, let's let's do this. Let's do this bad boy. Okay, so it's gonna be three cards and then two follow-up ones. So the first three cards are going to look at what you have accomplished this week. So um, interested to see what these cards are. Let me do one more shuffle. Okay, so what have I accomplished this week? Well, I'm just gonna pull all three of them. Huh, interesting combination. So I've got the Magician card here. And then we've got the Nine of Wands. And then the Six of Swords. So I'm getting here that there's like quite a bit, bit of hustle going on for you this week. Um, you feel like you were in a really good groove and then it's like somebody like harshed your flow, man. You know, it was like, we've got the Nine of Wands. So I really feel like somebody almost like stuck their foot out and tripped you. And this could be somebody, especially at work, you know, how people kind of take credit for your work or whatever. I feel like there's a little bit of shade going on that maybe um, didn't feel so good because uh, you had the magician. I'm seeing this sort of at the beginning of the week, you know, um, maybe waking up Monday and like ready to get this bad boy, you know. And then like by Tuesday, somebody is... <sighs> You know, people are, can be such backstabbers and it doesn't have to be at work, but you know what I'm saying. It looks like there was a little bit of a, a spike and then a little bit of a dip. But the good news is that you have the Six of Swords here. So, I mean, you could have had a spat with your spouse or something like that, you know, a little run in with somebody in the parking lot. Maybe somebody tried to steal your spot or whatever, but it really looks like, you know, everything... It kind of like, like I said, the spike, a little bit of a roller coaster. You went up, you were feeling really good. Something happened to throw you off. And then by the end of the week and probably coasting into Friday, and I know not everybody has the weekend off, so I really appreciate that um, people do work weekends, but there's always a Friday feel. You know, I used to, I worked weekends for many, many years. I was a server and I worked in hospitality and stuff, stuff like that. So I didn't really get a classic weekend until uh, about 10 years ago. But anyway, um, so you're sailing into a little bit of a smoother water and whether it's because you're looking forward to some downtime on the weekend or things just cleared up, I think that's really great. So the fourth card I'm gonna pull here is what positive energy can you focus on this weekend to keep up your success? So this is probably the biggest success here is like moving away from something, maybe um, having a near miss with a run in with somebody um, just keep in mind, guys, you don't always need to show up to every argument that you were invited to, right? So um, I find for the best, like the best way to avoid shade at work is just to totally let it fall flat on somebody. Like if somebody tries to provoke me in my day job, I just, I just give them dead air. I don't even respond. You know, um, I have the world's, uh, like I just, I do the sphinx face. I'm like... Okay, are you almost done? Like I don't even I don't even step to it. So anyway, what positive energy can you focus on this weekend to keep up on any success? So we do have the sun and it's always the promise of a new day. You know, the sun is a high voltage energy. It's the most incredible force in the universe. Um you know, it's just everything is represented here. So if you had kind of a, a bummed out week or whatever, don't worry about it. Like really invest in putting, you know, recharging yourself. I'm just seeing, you know, the sun is here to pick you back up again and restore you in some way. So really make sure that you're planning in some downtime. And if you live in an area where you can get some sun, where it's warm, 
um, like definitely do that because that'll help pick you back up for sure and if you live in a place that's cold like where I do uh, maybe at least sit by a window and catch some rays you know maybe feel some heat there's always something really wonderful about a sunbeam you know that's why cats and dogs and you know all of us actually like to lay in a sunbeam so I'm really seeing that sort of energy available for you and it'll really perk you back up so how can you embody this energy to have a great weekend well this is kind of a cool card here so I pulled the Queen of Swords so you'll actually be back in what I you know air quotes fighting shape like once you have rejuvenated yourself got that sunshine if you're able to go to the beach or whatnot you know and if you can't you know sit by a window like I said before even like sit by um, a fire and get toasty again guys I just saw angel numbers 555 roll by so if you're an angel number person you might want to check that out you know and I'm seeing here you know guys if there's a lack of sun where you are um, there's uh, YouTube videos where you can listen to the frequency of the Sun and I do that a lot because I'm kind of an indoor girl and it's winter so you know listening to the Sun frequency can really help um, recharge you and some of you might be interested in checking out uh, sun gazing which is really really good for your DNA mapping but that's a whole nother video so by recharging and indulging in some sort of sunlight or warmth you know fire something you'll bring yourself right back on point you've got the queen of swords and you'll be really refreshed for that monday start again and kind of a little bit of a, a different attitude you know um this is what i'm talking about that face that i have when somebody wants to start a little something you know i'm like pretty deadpan and I am the pause, you know, and that is like standing and waiting. Um, like there's just such a strategy to not being provoked by people. And some people just love that, which is why you took this pause here. So keep on practicing that and you'll come into a new sort of newfound strength for yourself. And just keep on doing that, you guys, when somebody wants to throw you under the bus or they want to try and make a joke out of you or you know they make some sort of nasty comment on Facebook you really just consider like do you want to lower yourself to somebody's level you know it, it'll feel good um, in the short term but it's it's not something that I mean and sometimes some people really deserve it or whatever but it, it honestly will make you look bad in the long run so really just being able to come back to a cool calm and collected place and take the week after you enjoy this weekend full on and headstrong so guys i'm gonna wrap up the video so i hope you enjoyed this short little weekend reading so peace out guys take care